get it. Hey, it's your boy Joe, motherfucking Shannon. Oh, you was waiting on me just yeah, come, that's come you I thought you was going to say something else right, right after that. My fault. You already know it's Nate 1K. We back with another episode of the Boss Talk Podcast. You feel me? Nah, really starting off wrong. <laughs> <laughs> your favorite podcast with your two favorite dysfunctional siblings. Spell it. Dysfunctional? Mm-hmm. D Y Nuts. S. Man, shut the fuck up. Hey. Goddamn. <laughs> hey. We back in with another episode of Boss Talk. Hey. We've been gone for what a week, mm-hmm. but uh, y'all been seeing what we've been doing. You know, we still trying to stay consistent as much as we can. You know, lives is lives. You know, we gotta live. You need your feel me? But uh, we got a lot of interesting topics today. You know, well, I I do. You know, you know, we've been on our uh, all little thing, but we always come together and get this shit popping. Yeah, what you been doing? I ain't gonna lie, I've been uh been working. You know, it always gonna work. Always gonna work. Uh. Been going, uh, like I said before in the early, early episodes, um, getting back into modeling, getting back into uh, acting as well, and dancing. Uh, not only just for, you know, other than working out after I go to work, you know, other than working out, but, you know, just a good, you know, cardio, you know, stay fit, you know, stay in shape. You know, I like dancing, you know, you feel me, and I like modeling. And it gave me a lot of opportunities, uh, you know, for what I want to do, which is acting. That's the main goal, acting. But uh, yeah, everything been good. Everything been good. I got a lot of things I want to say today. You know, you, oh, you feel do. Me? You yeah. look like you came prepared a lot. Yeah, you do. You look like you did. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, but other than that, everything been good. Everything been good. What about you? Everything been straight. You know, I can't complain about it. Goddamn. No, yeah, thing. down you know what what in the Northern. Yeah, 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 yeah down Northern. They gonna leave you, brother. You know, it's cool. Oh, don't do that. Right, she leave me. She <laughs> told me. She told me like three months before. Facts. She told Facts. me like three months before. I, you know, I just hate my life together. Nah, um, that wasn't what it was. I no, think that wasn't what it was. I really wouldn't. No, it was I, her birthday. That's what it was. That was part. Yeah, I think that. That was the main reason. Because yeah. I would have just had the money. But, yeah. I think that your, your girl birthday being around the time we was leaving. And second, I really feel like you just thought we was bullshitting on a trip. For real, for real. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to say no. Because I, I didn't think you was bullshitting. It was really more of uh, her birthday. And then when I found out who you went with, I was like, But yeah. I told you that, too. You didn't tell me that? <laughs> yeah, I could have sworn I did. Man, hey. I could have sworn I did, hey. my boy, my hey. boy. Hey, you going to cut this one out. It's a good reason I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you going to cut that one hey, out. Hey, but listen, before we even get too deep into this podcast, speaking of her. Oh, shit. So I don't see that. Oh. Speak, Man, okay, hey, listen. It's past. It's past. Back, hey, back. look. I'm going to back out, it up. Cut out what I said. I'm going to just back it up, bro. Before right. we get too deep in the podcast. No, nah, fuck that. I'm keeping the whole thing. No. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. You got to cut. Okay, but For real, though. It's her birthday today. Happy yeah, birthday, happy Juju. Birthday. Happy birthday, Juju. We want to tell you on the, on the podcast. Hey, but look, cut out the first part. Look, you keep all the Keep rest. all the rest there. Yeah. It's in the past, bro. It's old shit. Yeah, it's old shit. And it's I would never shit. do it again. You ain't got to say all that now, though. I just got to let my say. baby know. Baby, yeah. I ain't, I'm faithful. Ah, right, you ain't got to say I just got to reiterate. Because <laughs> <laughs> she be watch, her mama watch this. Her mama be watching this. I feel it. Hey, up. parents. Hey, mama. Man, you know how many grown people watch that? You watching this shit, but like, look. And then that's why I told you. She made me feel so good about this. Shit, and I ain't going to lie. Little shit like this makes me still want to go, bro. It's like her mama telling me, hey, I be listening to Joe Jordan podcast on yeah. the way to work. And I got people at work. Hey, man, I fold you. Hey. I know your yeah. your your delivery is kind of hood, but you you got the message. Hey, like it, you you speaking to the motherfuckers that speak like you. You speaking to the motherfuckers that act Thanks. like you. And like yeah, I fu- like the fact that he came to me, and like I'm working. Like I I know him, but like you know work people. You know you just know him. like especially in the factory at Amazon. I'm just working. Yeah, he coming to me. Out the blue. Hey, man, I fuck with your podcast. Keep going. Yeah. The only thing I can say that people like, only the only feedback that I've been getting lately is people saying that they don't have a lot of time to sit down and watch the podcast on YouTube. So that's why I've been trying to work on getting the podcast to Apple Podcasts. Mm-hmm. That way you can just pop your earphones in. Mm-hmm. You don't have no problem. I ain't going to count. Even when YouTube, on my way to work, I just be listening to the podcast. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, on the way here, I was listening to like three podcasts just to make shit. Podcasts like I use podcasts and like I utilize that shit. Like I use it as a time to but like make time go by. I use it as motivation. I yeah. use it as if I got something going on in my life, let me get some more feedback from some motherfuckers. Right. Motherfuckers like me. Yeah. 
Right. You what, what's your top? You got like a top three podcast you listen to? Uh, I really fuck with all Def Digital. I like when I when I first like what made me want to like get behind the screen and like get into that shit for real for real like we always did back in the day like back in hillside you know 2014 when we first started oh yeah 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 then, yeah, you know, yeah i was yeah, telling yeah. you i ain't like i was telling you then i was like hey i really fuck with all that digital like i'll work for them niggas yeah. like you feel me and then i even seen uh one of the dudes from all Def digital what's his name uh I seen man, I gotta look up his name. I can tell you, funny I don't as even hell, know. bro. Uh, and I seen him in the Atlanta. I seen him twice, and that would made me like God like signs and shit. Like, cause I seen him in Huntsville. He was at a club in Huntsville, and I was like, bro, this is just an opportunity. Like, I ain't even no dick riding ass nigga. I ain't no paparazzi ass nigga. Like, I don't even buy tickets for concerts. Like, I don't believe in that. Yeah. Like, you a nigga just like me type shit. But it was just an opportunity. We gonna talk more about that too. But I'll try to remember that later. But go ahead. I don't want to. It was, it was just like the opportunity of seeing him. I was like, bro, I gotta take it, bro. Like, hey, man, I gotta introduce myself. You feel me? Like, I I showed him my shit. You feel me? I showed him. Like, he was listening to me too. And then the thing is, I was in Atlanta driving. I see this nigga on the side of the road. This nigga spotted me out and said, and I. Yeah. All right. That's you what's feel up. it? That's just, what's up for yeah. real. But I don't, I don't want to forget my thought. I'm going to just go on and yeah, bring that shit up. out now because I'm going to forget my thought about later. So when you was talking about that, you remember, why do people feel like, like, okay, so when you trying to rise in a certain thing, it's good to network, of course. Yeah. But why do people feel like it's dick riding when you simply trying to network? You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna lie, I it, shit. Even I thought like this, and you have thought like this. You, I know for sure. Like, and you, I, that why, and that, and that goes to back what I was saying. Like, I don't dick ride people, but I do believe in networking. But I believe like people got in their mind, and they, and they, you know, their headspace that I gotta do this on my own. Yeah. Me doing it on my own, me like you feel me. That's the only way to do it. But you know what? That's, that's not true. Exactly. That's not true, baby. Because, nigga, I, that nigga might know some shit that I don't know. But I might know some shit that he don't exactly. know. Exactly. You feel me? And now we putting that shit together, but we got some money. You remember you when me? we went to Atlanta and we seen we fucked around and seen uh old boy in the mall? What's his name? Uh, you know who the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, uh, about. ooh, uh, uh nah, 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 nah. he, nigga he, he be with the, the he be with, um, he be wearing the do-rag. No, I saw that nigga too, though. He be with DC now. Yeah. On the little show. Oh, you talking about that nigga. I saw another nigga too, uh, nigga that be wearing the do-rag be like, ooh, uh, um, damn, I forgot that nigga name. Talking about ooh, kill him? <laughs> nah, nigga, nah. Uh, what the fuck is this? No, that's not, it's not Carlos. I know Carlos. Uh, fuck. What the hell is this nigga name, bro? That shit right there. You need to do some shit with K. Y'all, I just feel K like... Hood? Yeah, bro. Like, she funny as fuck. And, like, I don't know her, but, it's like, the fact that she's from Birmingham, like, I know her because she act like you. She had, like, all my fucking friends. And, like, it's so fucking weird. You know, it's crazy. Me and, me and K was supposed to look link up in Huntsville when she was staying in Huntsville before yeah, she told. even, like, peaked, peaked off. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, but shit, if it it'll still happen if it meant to happen, shit, I ain't worried about it. She what I what I fuck with about K is it don't matter how big she get, she gonna still fuck with you yeah. if she know you like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. If she, she fuck with you like that, she being smart about the shit though. So like, I I think I wrote her. She was in like L A a couple of weeks ago. I wrote her just out the blue and she responded, and mm -hmm. I ain't even think she was gonna get the goddamn message honestly. So shit. Um, but yeah, that's what I fuck with about K. So I think if if it's really meant for us to like, you know what I'm saying, link up and do some shit, mm -hmm. it'll happen. But yeah, I was just on that whole tip of networking because a lot of people really do feel like that when it comes to like networking and shit. It's like you stuck in the not wanting the dick ride, but then again, you wanna you wanna put yourself out there in certain spaces and and although yes, you wanna do it by yourself, it's some people out there that's doing the same thing that you're doing, um, that can probably help you get to certain places. You feel me? Yeah. So that's that was the whole thing about that. I I had to tell you something about that shit too, what? but not not saying like you just. Who? What? I gotta, I gotta think about this nigga name. What you bro. talking about? I really, I'm finna tell you. I gotta think about this nigga name first though. I really do. I it's gonna bother it. well, me. I'm going back to, I'm going to the next topic. Anyway, I'm hey, gonna get it. I got a question. I'm gonna get it in the middle okay. of what you're saying, bro. Okay. I got a question. <laughs> uh, could you be in a relationship in the in the pussy bag? No, absolutely not. You think that's a <laughs> <It's> simple? <laughs> 
Absolutely. So okay, so you tell me. Wait, is the is the coochie bad or does she have a bad day? <laughs> like this, you meet a girl, you fucking with her, you you been with her too. This and I'm not saying this is not having me bad. You got the best pussy ever. Um, oh my lord! I got real because she she be thinking she be like you talking about. No, nah, I'm not talking about you. But uh. You in a relationship, you ain't talk to the girl for about two weeks, you feel me? Y'all haven't had sex, but the vibe there, y'all got shit in common. She like the same food as you. She dressed to, she dressed the way that you fucking find attractive. Like you, she got wife material, all that shit. She got a good job, no kids, cop, bitch, all that. And then Everything night, and top that, tip, but the- tip. But when y'all, it was that, it was, it was, it was Valentine's Day. And, and y'all, decide, and y'all, decided, y'all decided to have sex and that shit was trash. What you gonna do? And you said everything else everything like everything else top to top two. I'm gonna give her one more chance. <laughs> you got one more chance. Like you got one more okay, chance. Okay, after that and then it just it ain't mm-mm, changed. Mm-mm. That's I can't be I can't be with nobody if I can't be like Do you feel do okay, do you think you're okay because I can't either, but people judge me like they like, oh, well, you can't do you. Well, I mean, I, I don't give just, a fuck. Call me I shallow. Call like, me. Look. Is that uh, is that being shallow? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Or is it just knowing what you want? It's, like, some people don't need to have sex in a relationship. I think to, it's definitely knowing what you want. I feel like some people don't need that, but some people do. You can't judge the people. If, you, if we can't judge the people that don't, you can't judge the people that do. I think I, we seen what we seen. We feel how we feel. You don't you can't. Facts, make, you you're can't, not finna make me feel you, bad you feel about bad it. That I'm <laughs> yeah. like sex. You're not finna bully you me can't about feel this bad because that's like they're like all y'all want to do is have sex. No, because I know some niggas that don't be wanting to have sex with their girls all the time. Me personally, I'm a freak. I like having sex. I do. I'm a Scorpio. I don't even think that got nothing to do with it. Nah, I got something to do. Well, with it probably it, do got it's something fact. to do with it. But <laughs> it's a fact. <laughs> but look, I'm like. All my life, people been like, you know, judge me like, oh, you just a horn dog. You just, you, you just a ho. But my thing is this: one thing about me, one thing you can say, I'm not just doing it with it. Like y'all, like yeah, I had my everybody had their little spell where I had like a couple holes. Yeah, okay, cool. But one thing you can't say, I'm just out here willy nilly. Oh, yeah. just hey, I'm putting my dick in everything, any in, in, in time, any play. Like I just met this bitch at the club. I'm, no, I'm not. No, the fuck I'm not, bitch. We gonna go at least on a on a. I got Lee come on and Take smoke him to McDonald's. A, s- smoke. A, no, just Lee come over to the house and smoke, and chill with you, or something <laughs> outside of this. You feel me? And then later on in life, if I see you at the club and then you trying to have sex, yeah, I'm with the shit, nigga. I know you, nigga. I ain't not about to see you on like I. Ain't, I have done one nighters. I have done one nighters. I'm not gonna count. But is a lot of them no. I I can count how many one nighters. I'm 28. I can count how many one nighters. I have had seven one nighters. Okay, like, I was gonna say on one hand or two hands. It, it one and a half. So <laughs> so I had two, and and I ain't gonna count one nighter started happening when I was in, playing AAU. Football, or basketball, basketball. Uh, you play like, AAU football? No. Oh. I play no. Nah, I play basketball, but I'm saying like, oh, when we go like out of town and shit, yeah, you know, that I mean, no more nights because it'd be like volleyball team, you know, and you know they stay in the same hotel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you feel me? Mm-hmm. 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 I be knowing about that. I, yeah, be, yeah. I, I was there for some of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. when the basketball. Ooh, them was the time. Yeah, yeah. Hey, when you I play, hey, ain't gonna count. Whoever, I play AAU whoever watching this and play AAU. Y'all know about them times when we went to the yeah, hotel. Yeah, hey, go. let it be, let it be a chilling, a chilling tournament, or a volleyball or softball. I only play AAU one time, bro. I ain't has, and I ain't gonna that was count. probably the I best time. With, I ain't gonna say I still fuck with them, but I still know some people from back then. Like they, if they see me to the day, they be like, I know you. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you know me. Yeah, yeah. I'm that little boy that was on that AAU team. Yeah. That, that, what, what, what AAU team you play for? Uh, Alabama Challenge. Bro, did they have a girls team? Uh, uh, who coach. was and if they did, who was the coach? Coach Ava? Nah, cause Coach Ava yeah, played no. uh, Coach the Ice. Bro, well, now, I, she I coach played though, too. AAU for Alabama. I, I want to say did they have a girls team. I want to say I know Alabama either. had a girls team. Yeah, I know because I, I, I played I AAU for them. I played AAU for. Like, they had a they had a couple uh girls Alabama A and M team. 
I mean, AAU team. I said, you know. I can't think of your name. For I don't like know that. names. I feel like we because, probably yeah. played around some of the same facilities or teams. I know I played at the wide out time. Yeah, we did too. We traveled a lot though. Yeah, we traveled too. But, that was like, when I played down in the wide, that was like elementary. Oh, see, no, nah, I was I was in high school when I played AAU. Wow. Now, when I got to high school, I was, yeah, I was already out of town and shit. Like, yo, that was like going to Montgomery and Atlanta every fucking weekend or Tennessee. Yeah. Doing AAU, I didn't been I been in like every state just playing AAU. I do got a I do got a question for you. What? Going back to what you asked me when you was what? talking about what you was talking about last. What? Okay, so um knowing, with you being the age that you is now, knowing what you know, do you understand or see why God would want you to wait to have sex until you was married? Yeah. Yeah. I do too. I knowing that would you would avoid it? Yeah. You would have, really? Yeah. Like dead ass. I say, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, if the same shit that happened to me when it, you know, in my life, I'm not gonna talk about that, but. Oh, that's, yeah. your, that's probably your phone, though. But, uh, the shit, the, I mean, the same shit probably would have happened in my life that already happened, but still knowing what I know, I probably would have dealt with it better. So yeah, I probably still would have waited. Would have waited, yeah. I understand. I okay, I understand. What you was, like, I just understood what you were saying without. You feel me? Like you the same out. stuff gonna happen. What was gonna happen to me in my life? But the fact that I know what I know, I would know how to move about. Yeah. It. So I can say, yeah, I would still wait. All right. If um, if you was to like, if God was to grant you every one of your wish, anything that you wanted right now. Would the outcome, would your full outcomes be for your personal benefit, or would it be for like, could can it be something three? to change the world? Change I, the world. Can I have three. What you I mean? Can, wait, I can only have one. I can only choose one wish. No, I'm not asking what your wishes are. I'm saying oh. like, if God granted you everything that you pray for right now, oh, in, okay. anything that you wanted in your in your life, mm-hmm. would it be mostly based on your personal benefits, or would it be something that can also like change the world? That shit make you think, don't it? I'm say both. Because I just feel like as a person in it, but like I said, everybody has to have it's sad to say, but everybody has to have the selfish moment. That's that true though. Everybody had cause how are you gonna provide for somebody else if you can't provide can't for yourself? yourself? How you gonna love somebody else if you can't even love your own self? Right. So you have to take some accountability for yourself. You have to take some some for me. Don't feel selfish by doing that. Right. And, and I had a problem doing that. Cause it was like I didn't I felt bad because I see my brother fucking struggling. Or I see my cousin fucking struggling. I see my homeboy fucking struggling. And you struggling. can't really do nothing about it. I can't it really yourself. do nothing yeah, about I it. Not, and I'm giving them me. I'm giving them what I got, what I'm trying to do, you feel me? But now I'm back. Now we're yeah. back in the same position. Right. How I'm gonna help you? I can't help myself. Right. So I would want fifty percent to be personal. Fifty percent, honest to God, finish fifty percent be will be. Personal. I ain't even gonna care if I had the to choose. fifty percent, I'm my family, my friends. Yeah, everything. Yeah. I, yeah. If I had to choose, I'd probably make it seventy five percent personal. <laughs> That shit sound crazy, I don't know. It's just, and I and I understand it, but it's still I'm still working through that. Like I'm just a good hearted person. Like but that I shit is so it, fucking strong. Like, my percentage ain't got nothing to do with my heart level. My I got a good ass heart too. But at the end of the day, I gotta be with myself every day for the rest of my life. Yeah. It don't matter who comes, who goes. That's family, friends, all of that shit. But I think so, I'm in the phase of now of yeah, I work for myself, but I will sacrifice myself for my family. Yeah, for sure, of course, no question, no doubt about it. Oh my, my little sisters. No, oh, no mama, doubt about it. Uh, me. I ain't gonna play. The fuck? I, yeah, no. my, I don't even play. But yeah, I just wanted to ask that because I had seen that actually on my cousin's Snapchat, and I was like, that's a good ass. Like that shit made me sit and think. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I wanted to throw that out there because I felt like that was going to be something good. But, what the hell? I had something else to say. I still ain't thought about this nigga name yet. Okay. All right, so let me tell you what we haven't did in February. And in Fe- February, almost over. Black History Month, to me, has not been talked about a lot, a lot. this month. 
at all. And I don't know what's up with that. We already don't get a long fucking month. Like, why we ain't... First of all, I don't think Black History Month should be in February, but since it is, we're here. So, I think it should be in June. <laughs> but you, you wanna know my honest opinion about that? You don't give a fuck about Black History Month? No, I ain't gonna say that. What's I feel opinion? like it shouldn't be... It shouldn't... Well, it is what it is now, but... But I feel like if you talking about making it right and what should be should like what should be was what it is, I feel like it shouldn't be even a month. I feel like Black History should just be a part of history. Yeah, true. Cause they did erase the yeah, fact. I, the I fact. The fact that we're separating it. The fact that we're you feel me. Still, it's like segregated. We're only getting a month. It's still segregation and white people getting their everything else. You feel me? It's still segregation. Why not? You talking about equality? That's still not equal. Yeah. They're still being put to the side. We only getting a month. You said I races and then even Hispanics. I'm talking about all races. Why not all of this be taught in the history? Well, honestly, it ain't even that because everything is everything else is taught in the history. I, I'm just history. saying the for, the, the format that they, that was given to us. The and then they lie. To us. They lie to us oh, about yeah, our lie, history. So shit, history. like man, it was man. That's what I'm saying. I be thinking it's so about good to educate yourself. I be thinking about like all the questions, I, the, all the clapbacks I could have said, and I be thinking about that's this true. shit. Like all the clapbacks I could have said in fucking elementary school, but. Young kids now are clapping back at the teachers. They saying, hey, that ain't right because what about this black person yeah. that really made this? You feel me? But As long still, as they know. Yeah. I, but go on put down what you need to put down on the paper so you can go on pass. Yeah, That's what I'm yeah. telling my kids. Straight but, up. But you be seeing these, uh, these, uh, maybe like TikToks and on social media, uh, little kids be writing, uh, like the, the ads, like fill in the answer. But it be like the most, it be the, the right, right, wrong answer. Yeah, I see. I know what you're talking about. I ain't seen that, but it'd yeah. Be like the most, it'd be right, but it'd be like that ain't the answer. Yeah, that ain't. You ain't supposed to know that. That's the answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How you <laughs> That's know the that? answer, but you ain't supposed to put that. You better write your mama too long. Yeah. Yeah. Tell your mama to close the door. But hey, hey I seen somebody Black history, at the club I ain't, ain't pregnant talking. again. The, Who? I seen somebody at the club pregnant again. It's just. Hey, it's a trend, bro. It ain't nothing new under the sun at this point. I cannot think of that nigga name, bro. But yeah, people ain't talking about black history. But I ain't want to black history. But I didn't want to end February without mentioning it at all. Uh, hell, we a part of black history. We make history every day, nigga. If y'all remember last podcast episode, we talked a little bit about um, religion, um, conspiracy theories. Uh, look, just a little bit of everything. So we wanted to piggyback off of that a little bit because. Um, Starting off with religion, first things first. I grew up in a Christian environment. I grew up in a church. Mm -hmm. All of that. Mm -hmm. There is nothing in the Bible or about the Bible that you can tell me that I probably don't already know, or I can't quote back, or I can't quote back to you. So, but with that being said, me being older now, I don't identify as a Christian. I'm more spiritual. Simply because, like, with my experience, experience. Damn, don't start this, bro. You was doing good. <laughs> with mm. my, I'm talking about yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> with my experience with churches and stuff, not religion, just with the churches and stuff. Uh, I ain't really. I, I had bad experience with churches, so I don't go often. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I, I'm spiritual, not much of a Christian. I say that because I don't want to be a hypocrite. Because I will say, like, as as somebody that has read the Bible and still reads the Bible sometimes, um, I don't do most of the stuff in that in, that's <laughs> listed. <laughs> I don't follow. Honestly. I don't, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't follow. I follow the main commandments. Yeah, I follow the main Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not. I just stole a couple of things. I ain't killed nobody. I ain't killed nobody, though. Definitely ain't killed nobody. I ain't killed nobody. All right, so. It's pouring down. <laughs> Man, I got a drive. It's getting a little hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> Should I drive? I don't know. It's getting a lot. Maybe I, I should shut the fuck you. up. <laughs> I'm just playing. But no, for real. But um, 
I don't want to make this sound bad. I don't want to make. Yeah, I, I don't want nobody to make it sound like I'm an atheist or no shit like that. Nah. I ain't no atheist. I'm a firm believer in Jesus Christ. When I pray, I pray to the Lord. <laughs> yeah, I pray to the Lord, Lord I pray Heavenly Father, to Jesus Deontay Jesus. Christ. That's exactly who I pray to. Jesus De- Deontay. Deontay. Yeah, that's ain't that his middle, middle name? name? I could have sworn his middle name was Deontay. Anyway, I I, I go for good, <laughs> yeah. not the evil. I do un up unto him. Not up on the yeah, t- like don't t- get it twisted. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't get, get it, it twisted. Twist. Don't. But he, he I, I, I do just be don't. Sometimes I, just, I do be yeah. sinning sometimes, and I just I'm don't. I'm sorry. See I myself you. as a I Christian. Christian, but look, I don't know if I have any Christian list- listeners. So look, educate me. <laughs> educate me. This how I feel. I feel exactly like this. Like I said, he I said don't want to be. What? He said, I feel exactly like this. I feel exactly like this. I don't want to. Identify as a Christian because, like I said, I don't do a lot of stuff I in the you Bible. Say I want to identify as that, a female. Shut up, shut up! Before you make me lose my train of thought. <laughs> but like I said, I don't do everything that's in that the Bible tells you that you that you should or shouldn't do, like be gay and stuff like that. Yeah, it's obviously I like girls, love them. What the fuck is that? Like your speech. What what is that? The DJ. Your hands is ashy as hell. That's what I'm telling people. Oh. I'm sorry. But they told, from from what I was told by people that I know are Christian, they told me that as long as I believe, then that is the simplest thing to do, to be a Christian. And I do believe, but I don't want to be a hypocritical Christian. You feel me? I don't want to walk around par- parading myself as something if I know I'm not doing everything that the Bible is telling me that I should or should not be doing. I think the main thing that I'm doing is gayness. But yeah, I I think that's the main thing. I probably cuss. I cuss a lot. Is that I a think, sin? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But do you? But you gotta realize. But you get what I'm saying, though. A lot of his disciples sinned. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, Jesus, that's all Jesus hung around. Honestly, if we want to be technical, if you want to be technical, Jesus his hung around disciples were sinners. He hung around a bunch of sinners. He hung around a prostitute. Lie, lie, a liar, uh, a, a thief. Uh. He, somebody, he hung he around somebody. No. He hung around somebody that he knew when he had friend for real. Betrayed him. And he knew he was going to do it. He was just, you know, chopping it up, shaking the hand with him. You know, like I be doing some of you niggas. You? <laughs> you? I'm just I playing. I'm in that category. I'm just playing. You not, bro. I'm just playing. I'm just bullshitting. But uh, but you feel what I'm saying, though? Yeah. That's why I don't want to be in that category, I per see. se. I'm a believer, but I don't want to be in a... And don't get me wrong. If it, if you was to make it, sen- make it make sense to me, make it make sense to me, I'd be like, okay, hell, I'm a Christian. But, okay, I ain't going to say it like that. But I'd be like, okay, I'm a Christian. But... It is getting hot in here. <laughs> but Jesus know my heart. He know my heart. The way I talk to regular people is the way I talk to Jesus, except with the cussing. Minus the cussing. I don't cuss. I don't cuss when I talk to Jesus. I don't even want to play. Like <laughs> I'm for real, though. <laughs> nah, okay. You be so comedians. They be playing. They be, they are, they be like, saying some wild nah, shit, yeah, bro. Shit, I'm like, I can't do that. I but no, nah, like, I, I kid you not, y'all. When I pray, I literally talk to God just like this. Like a regular. Like I talk to you, I talk to him the exact same way. Like a regular conversation. Just I just don't cuss. I just I I think I have said that before. You gonna, in the whole, in the prayer you gonna talk to him and tell him damn you know what? You ever said Lord God damn that's that's like <laughs> you're not you're not supposed to say that it's not cussing to God <laughs> like God you ever said God damn you Nick people say that shit bro people say that you don't realize it but that's what people be saying. Right, so man. you ain't finna fuck. Like I, I said, you ain't finna make me feel bad say, about shit. Them I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna say. I I won't say God. But that's his, just because that, you don't sound the I word say, out I fully. Say, that don't mean yes, that. Do. Bro, yes, no, it do. don't, bro. Right. That's exactly look, what. Look, look, that's look, where it stems from. Right. It's really I. It's really just an I. Okay, if that's the case. I don't say it. I'm mean, like God. All right, but shit, I don't say it either. See, it's the. It's it ain't no God in it. Damn. Uh, uh, see, uh, it's damn sure it's too, damn <laughs> too damn close, too damn close. Now uh, make them another word. Like we say, like just say damn, 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 damn. 
All right, don't worry about it. All right. But yeah, that's just how I feel about it. So yeah, just educate me. If it's a way that like I can tell me if I'm sleeping somewhere. But me personally, I just don't identify like that because of that. Now when you get into this, uh, I had sent my brother some stuff after we had the little shoot last time about this lady named Olivia. She was like in the industry as a makeup artist. And she said the Illuminati people tried to come and get her. Now she's trying to expose everybody. She had, she didn't expose Jay Z. She didn't expose Rihanna. She didn't expose Beyonce. She didn't expose Kanye. But Kanye saying he ain't in that shit. They said Kanye even made a video himself saying that they can control B. They can control J. They can control uh, Shaq. All these people he named. But I was watching the whole thing. I don't know. Did you actually watch it when I sent it to you? You ain't watch it. You need to watch that shit, bro. You need to watch that shit. I sent that to you a week ago. Okay. I watch it. It's too late. I ain't gonna want to talk about it no more. <laughs> I'll watch it. But, but nah, I'm into that anyway. But like, I'm into that. I ain't gonna say I'm a conspiracy conspiracy theorist. But conspiracy theory. Cons- conspiracy theory. Theorist. Con- conspiracy though. Conspiracy theorist. There you go. There you go. There you go. Go ahead. Move these nuts in your mouth. That's what you can do. Mm-hmm. You went to the same high school, ho. Yeah. Okay. Um, whore. It's whore. It's ho. Whore. And it's we went to the same high school. <laughs> <laughs> we attended the same. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Huffman made it to the final fours, bro. Girl, basketball team made it to the finals for us. And fuck you. You ain't make it. Actually, we did. We just lost. <laughs> we ain't make it to the final floors. We made it to the championship, though. Yeah, so. It and y'all didn't. Nah, so fuck you. Because we lost the game before. Okay. So so, yeah, so why you talking? It. Why you, you even just, talking? You, all that was, so was why a you warm even up for y'all to lose. How you what? talking from outside of the fucking club? From outside of the you you on the outside of the gym looking in. I'm on the court in the middle of the floor. Where you at? Open the door for you. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so fucking weak, bro. (laughs) Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. (laughs) My bad, bro. I did come hard. This man just said he trying to open the door, bro. My bad, bro. (laughs) She coming right after with me. <laughs> you said you opened the door for us to come right back out there with you? Yeah, yeah. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I was in the gym. What you doing? What you doing? Shit, open the door for you. Shit, waiting on you to come outside. It don't matter though. They ass made it. Uh-huh. Coach Slater been chasing that for the longest since we been there. So she deserved it. I hope they, I hope they gon', you know what I'm saying, make that shit. I want to go to the game. They got to. Well, you said fucked up my whole story. Why was I talking? About you weren't even before. talking about shit. I was. No, I'm you weren't. <laughs> you weren't even talking about. I was about some sexual shit. I forgot. It wasn't important. It wasn't. Cause you forgot. I don't know. I'm sorry, bro. Nah, fuck you. I ain't eight. I'm hungry. I'm, I'm hungry still too. drunk. Mm, that didn't tear my. You got to do better. All right, you gonna go on this next trip though? Yeah. What is? <sighs> Cause she going to trip in May, so I'm trying to leave before then. Nah, I think I'm going somewhere in May too. I'm, I'm, I'm booked then. up. I'm booked up. I'm going until, with you in May then. What is this? What we doing in May? Yeah, I'm booked up until May. Right, I'm going with you in May. We going to Pensacola in May. All right. For real? Yeah. It's Pride Month. I mean, Pride Month in June, but Pensacola starts it at the end of May. All right, I'll take a flight back. However you want to do it. I'm going to be there though. I'm going to fuck. What you got? <laughs> I'm going to be there on that beach. On Pride Month? Yes, I'm a part of the community. Yeah, you are. You are. You can be a part of the community too. Tell them you trans. <laughs> Do you know how, bro? They will eat your ass up if you go out there and tell them you trans. I'm they not gonna telling eat them you, a damn bro. thing, bro. They is gonna take this man. Listen, don't tell them you trans. Don't get this idea in your yeah, head don't tell thinking them you trans. that. I, what? They, <laughs> that's so. Well, they gonna take you. They gonna take you. I'll beat your ass. And you pretty? Oh, don't tell them you trans. Everybody gonna eat his ass up. Girls, boys. Bitch, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> I was born a man. I got balls and a dick. Mm-hmm. A long one. Nice. Fat one, thick one. Thank you. The fuck? Okay, I don't need all that. Just saying. Bitch, ain't this God given. God said, boy, it would 
it, it was a boy. The fuck? And here I am. And I ain't going on no fucking beach with no dick and other dick and balls. And then dick and balls and titties. And then I be confused. It's just a lot going on. <laughs> Bro, it's not that I ain't bad. Gonna count, bro. I'm not homophobic. My uncle, my uncle I'm went. Not homophobic. Bro, my I'm uncle went. I'm scared to what I'ma see. Bro, I, I'm a, I ain't listen, never seen it before. It doesn't matter. My uncle went. My uncle not gay. Yeah, he not. I'm not. But I don't. I, I ain't gonna say I don't. I'm. I just, I, I'm, not I'm not forcing. I'm not forcing. I'm not homophobic. Why you crying? I don't want to <laughs> come off as homophobic. I just. It just. It's like Right, you're not gonna I mean fuck fuck people gonna have that opinion fuck, anyway. What? People gonna have that opinion anyway. I ain't I, I ain't wanna be rude because I was gonna say fuck what the fuck they got to say. Fuck what they got to say. Yeah, I don't wanna be rude. But people gonna have Man. their own opinion anyway. So just say what you got to say, bro. Don't like, just it's if like, it's homophobic, I tell you. Okay. I oh, don't shit. have I don't care what you do with your behind the bed. I mean behind the closed doors. I don't care how you live your life. It's just like Seeing it, like it ain't. Even, it's the really the trans, and it's like the flamboyantness of gay people. It's like it's just so extra. To Man, me. I bet you I can bring you a girl right here that you don't even know trans. And you that, wouldn't even tell. I couldn't even tell. You that's wouldn't makes, even know if I tell. If and I that's why I don't talk to people now. Because I I've seen that firsthand, and that shit blows me. Like no, I'm not gonna talking. The question: Why does it bother you? Why does it bother me? Mm-hmm. Because that motherfucker might got bigger dick than me. No. And if they, they what you want to do? Measure it together? I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't. So wanna, what's the problem? Like, what you mean? What What is the problem? Like just being around it. Why? I don't know. It's like just the just the fact that I know, and it I don't know. Is that homophobic? A little bit. Damn. A little bit. You can't even stand next to him. We talking about trans people. We ain't talking about just gay people in general. We just talking about we talking about trans people. It's gay people when they do the flamboyant shit. Boys. You talking about gay boys, right? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. if it was a stud, shit, it wouldn't be no problem, yeah. right? But like, but if a boy. dude in a dress, that should have bothered you. I ain't gonna say it bothers me, but I try my best not to make a face. Even if like. They not bothering you at all. Say, okay, say, boom. Say you in Walmart, right? Oh, no. Let's listen to the scenario. Oh. Say you in Walmart. No, fuck that. Let me do something realistic. What? You in the club scene. Mm. Club scene. Okay. Boom. You with your friends. You are at the, you at the bar or something. You finna get up a drink. Trans dude come up to you. He got on the fuck. You, you, you can tell he's trans. He probably transitioning. He probably got on like, you know what I'm saying? You can tell he's a guy. But, you know, he probably got on like a wig. Probably got on crop top, maybe a skirt or some shit. He ain't stun you. He trying to get him a drink too. You know what I'm saying? But he's standing next to you. That'll, that'll bother you? No, but I'll rush the process. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I ain't mad at you for feeling like that. It's just that I don't never, I never understood what people... I don't know, know. and that's what I'm saying. I don't see why I feel like that. Like, and, and see, it, and it's contradicting your statements from earlier because how? how can you not care what somebody else have going on, but something like that can bother you so much without even bothering you? You get what I'm saying? They bothering you without even bothering you. Is that something you. like how racism works? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You getting it. Exact, exactly like that. But I'm not a bad person. You not. And I don't judge people. You don't. Well, yeah. <laughs> listen, you judging without knowing that you judging though. Just off the base of the facts of what people put on them. So in my head, that's all I'm thinking about. So that makes me uncomfortable. But I mean, but then that's again, just like I- racism because people put what they want on black people and that's what they know so it's like it's like were you taught that taught yes okay boom that's it right there if you wasn't if you wasn't taught it you would have never known about it 
You know what I'm saying? So you basically would have known, you would have learned it the street way. How how I would put it? If you don't learn it the house, you learn it the street way. You feel me? That's how I put it. So not saying that if you would have learned it the street yeah, way, it would have been a different outcome. Talk about gay people. What well, fucking y'all can y'all can cancel him? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that nigga definitely did talk about gay people, like growing up, like sissy, like all this shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he, like he know. known for calling niggas sissy, like. Or just playing and shit, like, but he'll take it as a joke. But like, if he see a gay person, he calling him a little, little, the little, he talking a little faggot boy. I'm like, yeah. bro, come on. Yeah, that definitely. Like, and then when he did it, man, even in high school, it was like at first when he started doing, it, I was like, all right. Then he kept doing, it, I was like, I don't know why that sound bad. Like when he said it. It like that. That sound like bullying, low key. It is low key though. That but sound like bullying, it's, low it's, key. It's kind of like doing it without knowing that you're doing, doing it. Cause it. you like you just explain everything. You only you probably don't even understand how you you just laid out everything on the table about why you feel how you feel and all that shit. And it's understandable. It ain't justifiable. It's understandable though because everybody gonna feel they feel their ways when it come to that. But you still gotta think about it. You gotta like stop stop thinking to the point where. Your own understanding wants you to stop at. You feel me? Go a little bit deeper than that, cause just because that's where you want to stop your understanding, that don't mean it can go and it can go into a deeper meaning than that. You feel me? So like that's why I had to like bring back to the other conversation when you was like, well, I ain't really worried about what this, that, and the next person got going on, but this motherfucker just bothered you without even bother bothering you. You feel me? They ain't said shit to you. They don't know your name. They ain't they ain't try to speak. They ain't even say excuse me. They trying to get a drink, but it's just their presence. They, you don't like their presence. Just like a, a, a racist white man. Yo, yo black ass walk in the door. What the fuck this nigga doing here? Yeah. You ain't said shit to him. You ain't did nothing to him. But your presence. Yeah. It's because you there. That's, yeah. That that shit kind of tie hand in hand. I sorry. I sorry. I mean, I don't really think it's nothing to apologize about. You ain't saying nothing disrespectful, no shit. I'm just trying to get you another way of understanding it or looking at it. You feel me? So I ain't say, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that because you can feel how you feel. But. You had them people that argue when it when shit come like that, like, and I also believe that too. You had like straight people that get mad as hell. Like I ain't never seen you do no shit like that. Like motherfuckers yeah, are throw ain't. scenes. You ain't never did no shit like that. Oh, they you scenes? Yeah, like I'm talking about call scenes. Like this motherfucker don't need to be here. All this other type of shit. Trying to fight people. I have actually seen that. Seen like fight trans people, yeah, fight gay people. Burner yes. don't do not like gay people. Yeah. Well, no, I ain't gonna say all that. Well, I ain't gonna say that. But the straight it niggas, the straight niggas ain't. Yeah, certain straight niggas, cause some when niggas the flamboyant, down. yes, gay, trans, I think, yes, they do that, have a bigger problem in Birmingham. Yeah. But gay people, the community just, you know. As long as you chill and cool, yeah. they, they, they straight. But, like, when I don't think Birmingham people like the flamboyant. I but I didn't seen, I didn't seen way worse. Like, what you just did is nothing. What you just basically explained is nothing. That's just you giving your opinion. But, hell no, I didn't seen way worse. That shit. I forgot what I was going with. But. You said he was acting on shit. Yeah, but I was just saying. I, I'm saying I seen people that do that shit. So you. I you know. I seen people do that shit too. Thought like goddamn man, nigga. I think we was at the club. And oh, I was doing security, and nigga had a booth, and I think one of his, like you know, one of his friends was you know he brought some hoes to the to the booth. And one of the front, one of the hoes had. I'm gonna stop. Okay, my bad. One of the females. <laughs> one of the females. He had some females, and one of the females' friends was gay. And I saw the whole shit happen. And he had came, you know, he came with her, so he got in the bull too. Dude, dude, stop. Dude told dude stop the stop the uh. The DJ. Oh yeah, and he so, said, "Man, y'all don't get this faggot ass nigga out oh, of my booth." Yeah, I and I that. said, "I think that was that a video." I'm not sure. I know I seen a video. I said, "I know, like hell, this nigga didn't just say this shit," and he stopped the whole party for like he wanted to embarrass this nigga. Yeah, like you could just you could have quietly told this nigga that you went beyond. And to embarrass this nigga, and you knew this nigga was gonna fucking try to fight you. My thing I mean, about it is, when it comes to like, one thing about them gay motherfuckers, they'll fight yeah, you. They'll they fight definitely you. fight you. Don't sleep on them. Them motherfuckers strong as shit. Fight to to be able to fight like a nigga and a bitch is a strong ass trait. Probably, yeah. Yeah, that's because I'm one. You, are you switching up? No, I can fight like a nigga and a bitch. I ain't never pulled no hair though, and I ain't never fought a female, a girl, a girl, a female. 
Name one. A girl to girl female? Name one. Cheerleader. Cheerleader. I fought. I fought a cheerleader. I love cheerleaders. I ain't never fought no cheerleader. A cheerleader? I fought a cheerleader? Yeah, she will. Yeah, I don't want to say a name. Go on, say it. Go on, mm-hmm. don't, don't say a name, but just like say a scenario or something. Like, what happened? This was in high school? Honda. I ain't fight her. Damn, she just got on my damn nerves. I bust her <laughs> fucking tires, though. I beat the shit out that car. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Bullshit. Got, got a case put on your ass. Nah, she dropped it. <laughs> I thought I paid for the tires. It's what it is. Talk to you. You learn as you go. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never ashamed about half of it. I ain't, if I did it, I ain't ashamed about shit I done did. No really? cap. Hell no. Nah. So you don't regret none, none of your mistakes? Nothing. Nothing. At all. I didn't. I didn't make peace with everything that I didn't did in my past. So it's I don't nothing. Really regret. <sighs> it's nothing that a motherfucker can throw in my face or talk to me about that's gonna make me feel some type of way about. Even, even that situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even that. It's nothing a motherfucker can. Hell no. No. Well. It's one situation I wish you never did, but. I digress. Nigga, which one, nigga? Here we go. No. I, we, we finna talk about that same one again? Yes, I. Nah, I don't know what you talking about. Hillside to Barnell. That, that was like literally a street over. Exactly. So who you was with? Hillside. What happened? But it's so much stuff happened over there. It was one big thing that happened. In Hillside? Hillside? We talking about Hillside or the creek? Well, I guess it did start at the creek. We talking about the same situation, bro? Yes, and it's another car. Car? I don't know, bro. I think I'm lost. I'm I'm dead ass. I think I'm... Hold on, just... Hold on, bro. Can, can you want to step over there, Rick? Step, 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 step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, right. Okay, yeah, that's a different. Yeah, I mean, it's the same, but different. But yeah, I mean, it's what it is, though. Yeah, <laughs> shit, like I said, shit happens. <laughs> shit happens. Live and you learn, live and you learn. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I do remember what I was going to go back and say. When? What time is it? Okay, so with all that that we just talked about, how would you feel if. Okay, so I already know how you would feel if your son was gay. I would love him the same. What about what if he was a flamboyant gay though? I would teach him not. I would teach him to be like if you can't. You before you even okay. Before you even say that. But like I said, I'm growing. I'm still learning about that because I'm like with Marlon acting. I'm 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 being around him more, so I gotta learn how to move as a straight male with that shit. But. I, I would feel like I would tell him to be himself, but if he was flamboyant, I would just, I don't know, tell him to go talk to his uncles. <laughs> his uncles? <laughs> yeah, my brothers and shit. shit. That's in, in online shit. Tell him shit. Cause I, oh, I you talking online, your online. Yeah, I got gay okay. homeboy like in the modeling agency, and I got gay homeboys in the dance agency, so... I mean, but you still love him the same though. All I still that, love him the same, saying? but when they start, if if I do have a gay son, and he start, you know, he got questions about that. I'm just saying to his uncle, mm-hmm. go, go I ain't necessarily him. saying they gonna ask you questions about it. Just saying, come and I out. mean, just but, like just just. What about your daughter though? Shit, go talk to these, your, your aunties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so weak. Shit, go talk to your auntie and shit. If I got a straight son, come talk to me and your other uncles. Yeah. Shit. If I, if I got straight female, I, I got, like, I got, I got, I got, shit, the, how the world is, everybody, it, it's just they self, like, shit, everybody got different qualities, shit, you don't know how that person gonna come out and shit. True. And how my friend group is, I, I got, and it's, crazy. I, it's abundance, bitch, I got, I got everything for you, I got, I got some studs right here in this corner, I got some gay brothers in this corner, I got some straight brothers in this corner, I got some straight females in this corner, it's y'all four, y'all, y'all just... 
know. It'd be a double standard. Don't feel one way about dudes, then another way about females, and then one way about their son, and another way about their daughter. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, that we grew up on that. I mean, but that's what we. That's, that ain't like, no shit we grew up on. No, that's some society shit. That's, that's the taught, universe that the made society that shit. taught it. You still like they don't have to be our parents. It normalized it. But my thing is this: Who taught our parents? Who taught our parents' parents? Who taught our parents' parents? parents? But you got to think. But though. my thing is this: It's still being taught. It don't have to be from my parents. Society taught it to us. You got to think about this though. What? Fuck that. Right. Parents, parents. Okay, so boom. Talking about our parents is one thing, but talking about our parents' parents is a whole nother fucking thing. You got to understand. They, this a, that was a whole nother fucking generation. Half of the shit we doing now, they ain't even think about that shit. So it wasn't no teaching them that shit. That. It no hell no. Nah. I Bro, know that for a it fact. Get deeper than that. Bruh. It get deeper than that. My, it my dude. It, no, they they might have they they still did it, but it was more in secrecy than than now. Bro, you think, bro? It was a lot of, bro. No, it was a lot of traumatized. It was more traumatized from other aspects, though. From other aspects, that's a whole different time frame, though. They had, they was trauma. They were traumatized from a whole other shit than what we traumatized for nowadays. When you talking about shit, then you you feel me? Like (laughs) it's hot as hell outside. They put, they picking crops and shit. Master ain't having a good day today. Like shit, they they traumatized over some whole other shit. So you talking about thinking, teaching twenty first century generation Z kids. They hell no. They can teach you how to live. They they ain't gonna teach all this new shit that we got going on. They can't teach us to do do that shit. I'm teaching my grandma technology. I'm teaching her that shit. It it it, it go hand in hand. It just go hand in hand. For real, for real. My mama can probably play both sides. Your mama can probably play both sides. But when you start talking about like your grandma, your granddaddy, shit like that, that's a whole different playing field. It's some shit that they can teach me knowledge wise. Cause I ain't gonna lie, if I tell my if my grandma still alive, I, like my granddad still alive, but I would never have a conversation like a, a Christian co- or like spiritual conversation. I would not have one with my grandma or my granddaddy. Hell no. Nah. And see, and that's the thing. Though. I want to, but they, I. I, I mm-mm. But they so stuck in they they so stuck they ways, in they ways. Uh, it's not no educating them on no shit like that because whether they believe it or not, that shit is real. Black magic, voodoo, all that shit. It's real, and that shit was being that. <clears throat> my bad. That what was being taught when they was around, but it went being taught to them. Yeah. But anyways, uh, you got something else to say? No, I'm good. All right, I'm good I'm too. Home. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Y'all already know I have officially started back vlogging on my YouTube channel. I got two video. Well, I got a video up right now, and I got another one about to go up. So subscribe to my YouTube channel down there below. There you go, there you go. All right, all right. We gonna yeah. see y'all in the next episode of the Boss Talk. See y'all next week. <laughs>